everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are at Haytor and Haytor is in Dartmoor and we are going for a walk. So we have Dartmoor which is quite close to where we live and yes there are free roaming animals there. So this is uh, the map and this is where we are at the moment so that's Hato Rocks this is the car park where we are so we are going to walk all the way up there and have a look around there take some pictures and then walk back down back to the car and then we might do some more exploring later on so we are quite early in the day still there's not that many people around although there's quite a few ponies around um, and yeah we're really enjoying uh, seeing them and they just roam the countryside because Dartmoor is a national park and there's lots of animals roaming wild So here we are, we are off on our walk, we've got our walking shoes on and we are heading towards Hay Tor. Now what is a Hay Tor? It's a hill and on top of that hill there's a rock and that's what they call a tor. So this particular tor is called Hay Tor or Hay Tor Rocks. And there's loads of them all over Dartmoor. And I have even found a list of all of them. I don't think you'll be able to do all of them in your lifetime. <laughs> but anyway, so look at the horses in the in the far distance there. They are what uh, we know as Dartmoor ponies. And although I say they are free roaming or wild, they are being looked after by their farmers. They are owned by someone. So they, um, you know, they're not just left to their own devices. So here we go. And we have uh, some climbing to do. Well, you know, a gentle ascend, I would say. <laughs> and it was quite an overcast day um, not sunny at all but it wasn't cold so the sun was trying to get through the clouds and a t-shirt and a cardigan was plenty it was a little bit windy but that's okay we don't mind that but we do like the views always so here I am a little bit up the hill and I just need to look around and show you the view and there we are hey tall rocks is getting closer to us and also what I um, always forget is the silence in Dartmoor. Here I am I've got to have a picture of me with Hato Rocks in the background of course and here we are up higher once again and I am enjoying the view once again but like I said I always enjoy the silence um, I forget that it's so quiet there um, we've walked in Exmoor as well which is a national park and it was really quiet there and here it was just so lovely when I you know you sort of arrive and all of a sudden you hear the silence and that's just such a lovely feeling look at the at the uh, gorse and the heather in full bloom still from the summer so that's a nice picture towards the Haytor rocks there and we are nearly there <gasps> look at that there's people on top of there hmm yeah I think I'll have to have a go <laughs> oh dear yeah definitely but first yes a cow <laughs> and the few of course Yep, so I think I might just go and explore these rocks. I've left my husband in charge of filming, so if it all goes wrong, you know who to blame. <laughs> I am being very careful, because of course I did not want to come home with any scrapes or broken limbs or whatever. But it was okay, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I 
Yeah, and there I look in between those two sort of stone parts and I found a geocache. So of course I had to go and get it, as you can see. There we are, look! It was quite a big box and luckily it had a pen and a notebook in it. So straight away I logged it because I do do geocaching. I have um, found not that many. <laughs> uh, when the occasion arises I like to find them and yeah so I was really pleased I found this one. This is quite an eerie picture. I did not realize there were all these people around me. But what I then later on realized was that these were professional climbers. There I am. I'm putting the box away now. So I've logged it. Yeah. And I could hear the little clinking of the metal. And yeah, back in position. <laughs> Um, and they were practicing climbing up on the other side of the tour. So there I am climbing without anything and they have all their gear, but never mind. <laughs> there we go. Let's go and have another look at the other side. Well, this is as high as I was going to go. There's a bit, bit there, yeah, to the right where you could go higher, but I wasn't going to... Um, you know, risk it basically. So let's come back down again. It was okay. Did you see I found a geocache? Mm-hmm. That's the first geocache I ever found without mm -hmm. looking for it. So this is the other side of Haytor. Uh, we've just walked around the side and we are now just going to explore a little bit more around the countryside. And there we have a cow <laughs> or two. And you have to be really careful when you walk in Dartmoor because there's lots of presents everywhere. Yep, the cows, the ponies, the sheep, they all leave you some lovely presents on the ground. So do not step in them. <laughs> there were lots of um, different types of cows. So we have the bra dark brown ones, you know, the black ones here. Then we have the brown ones. We saw some... Um, dual colored ones with like a white band around their tummy so yeah i suppose you know the farmers have um you know a fabulous playing field for their cows look at the presents on the floor here <clears throat> yep not wrapped in a nice bow but with a lovely smell that will last forever <laughs> and here we have a white and a black and they're just having a lazy Sunday near Hato Rocks. Aren't they just glorious? <laughs> so yeah, I took lots of pictures and lots of footage as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, we really enjoyed walking around and having a look. There were some sheep here somewhere as well. Can't find them now. But look at that view. And there are footpaths all over. So you could easily walk for miles and miles and miles from hey, from tour to tour. Um, but obviously this is only the first time we are properly walking in Haytor or Dartmoor better. So, you know, you sort of have to start small, I would say, and careful because it's not that simple to find your way. I think this is a lovely picture with the cows there. Look at that. Mm. Yep, yeah, hi. <laughs> 
So here I am. And yeah, although the sun wasn't shining, it was very bright. And like I said, a little bit windy. So I thought I would take some pictures of myself with Hator in the background. Although my hair was not behaving <laughs> with the wind. But never mind. We enjoyed very much just being away from it all and walking in nature. So here we are. I love this view as well with the road in the background and with that sort of second crop of um, rocks there. And without knowing, I had climbed quite high up uh, there as well, so I had to make my way down again. But yeah, I was taking lots of pictures, lots of lovely views of these rocks. And basically, I just really enjoyed exploring. And yeah, here I am, look, trying to take a picture while I was filming it. <laughs> to prove that I was there. <laughs> but yeah, no, I am... Um, we're going back. We are certainly going back because it's a lovely place to go for a walk. And here we are, the view once again. Yeah, so there's my husband down there, so I had to make my way down again. And while I was enjoying this peaceful moment, all of a sudden this happened. I suppose it's a lovely view from the air as well, this Haytor Rooks. So off we go again. And yes, look here, I found the sheep. So it was nearly lunchtime and we decided to walk back towards Haytor Rooks and back to the car. And this is where the climbers were practicing, look. And we realized it was a very busy here. A lot of people had arrived. so. So we decided to go to our car, drive to a nice picnic place and have our lunch there. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.